Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to talk a little bit about iPhone battery life. I don't get angry often, but when I do, it is about the battery life of the iPhone, because every single year, Apple says that it gets better. For example, with the iPhone 7, one of the main promises was the best battery life in any iPhone ever, but I feel like I've heard that every year, for every iPhone since the dawn of the first iPhone. The iPhone 6 was okay, but then the iPhone 6S was gonna be the best ever. And then it turns out the iPhone 6S, or at least some of the first models off the production line had some battery issues. And it turns out that I was just so lucky to have one of those defective models. But the replacement process was pretty cool. I took it in, they replaced it in the period of two or three hours. I picked it up the next day and I was good to go. And then the iPhone 7 claims the best battery life in any iPhone ever. I get excited every Every single year think that it's actually going to be great that I'll get through an entire day without charging, but that has yet to be the case ever. Now, if you happen to use a plus-sized iPhone on the daily, you don't have a lot of these issues because you've got a massive battery in your phone already. But if you're not Harambe and have regular-sized hands, like myself, you use this, a regular iPhone 7. It's inside of this guy that we're supposed to see the best battery life in an iPhone ever, and that very well may be the case. My question and my challenge to Apple is why Samsung can make a very similarly-sized phone but make the battery life that much better. The battery life of my Samsung Galaxy S8 has been phenomenal. And I've never used Android before, so I didn't know what to expect. But compared to this iPhone, 100%, this lasts practically twice as long when I have it in my pocket. And my results could be a little bit skewed because I'm not using this the exact same way that I'm using my iPhone. I'm still carrying this guy around for iMessage, but I don't know what Samsung's doing. They're doing something right with battery life. It is not the Note 7 disaster that we saw because this is incredible. Word on the street for the iPhone 8 next year is that Apple's supposed to be making this better, but I've got my doubts just because in the past, it's supposed to get better every year. Every year, the iPhone's supposed to have better battery life, whether that's on the marketing side or the leak side, and it just falls short. I'm hoping that for once Apple pays attention to the consumer base, we want better battery life. I want better battery life. And if you want better battery life, let me know down below in the comments section. Or tell me about your experience with your iPhone's battery life in general. Let me know what you guys think about this video. It's a little bit different, very conversational, but it was a lot of fun to make and it's a beautiful day outside. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you hit like down below. It would really help the video out. And of course, subscribe for more content on the iPhone and all future iPhones forever in the future. I've been Sam, hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you later.